welcome back to the survival guide. Is it ARDS or is it not in terms of COVID-19? This is a question not only have I been getting asked a lot, but I've been talking about with my colleagues back and forth. It's because COVID-19 is a new entity. And so many people have new and emerging theories about COVID-19 and what is actually going on in the lungs. We have learned some things from autopsy studies that I think are really important and should really frame the discussion. What we've discovered from autopsies is, is that these patients have intense inflammation. The inflammation over time will cause diffuse alveolar damage. Highland membranes are deposited down in the lungs, and this is blocking gas exchange, leading to permanent lung injury. So at least the data we have from autopsies show, yes, it is ARDS. What about when the patient's there in front of you on the ventilator? What are you seeing and how should you approach their care? Well, ARDS, much like many diseases, is a spectrum of disease. You can have ARDS that's mild, moderate, or severe. Different areas of the lungs may be affected. Your patients have different sizes and body habitus. They have different underlying conditions. Some may have, say, COPD. It's important that you contextualize your care of your COVID-19 patients that meet the ARDS criteria to their underlying conditions, their body habitus, and their pulmonary physiology, and the, the ventilator should be applied accordingly. I think that what we've learned over the course of the last 10, 20 years in the approach to ARDS is that we should be paying a lot of attention to the volumes and to the pressures. Do your best to titrate your ventilator volumes, your PEEP, okay, and your flow rates to reduce pressure and reduce volume. That being said, make sure that you apply these things to the patient in front of you. And maybe most importantly, when you make a change, say increase the PEEP, look and see how the patient responds. Pay attention to their plateau pressures. Pay attention to their volumes. Pay attention to how they respond on their P to F ratio based on your interventions. In the end, the success of your patients is gonna depend a lot on not only your knowledge of ARDS, but seeing how to apply ventilator management appropriately. Thanks again for watching. Please do subscribe.